city, I broke out that notch. Got some more money that keep me in that. I created history, it made me a lot. He tried to diss me and any no fouls. We call them chops, cause they go to chop. Took a hat of ballots, cause I pop. I run it like Nike, we got it on lock. Call me a I'm the boss man in a suit with no tie. I can't be sober, I gotta stay high. Put me some syrup in the gun and it's dry. Riding the special like Bunny and Clyde. Don't worry, baby, I keep me some fire. She ain't dancing, but then she can't ask inside. The ladies man say these shit, they be surprised. I'm stupid on this lady, her pussy up high. Get her back while I'm gripping her side. Look at that back, this ain't regular size. You really fly, be like Pelican guys. Two inch look, I can tell them which guy. Look at that, my wrist up against in the sky. She sing out my song, I ain't changing her life. I turn on the car, I'm gonna work on her high. Um, Dylan Rodericks, played four years, linebacker, running back. Julian Ryan, four years, defensive end and tackle. Colin Pacheco, all four of high school. D end, center, I was a linebacker. Uh, I'm Ethan Nall, I've been in the program for two years. I play wide receiver and cornerback. Uh, I'm Nate, I've been here for two years. I'm a safety and a defensive end. Uh, James Westgate. Uh, right tackle and defensive end, and I played for three years. I'm Tyler Mahone, three years played, tackle and linebacker. My name is Nate Hutchins, I've played for four years, and I'm a wide receiver safety. Uh, my name is Connor Sorrell, played for four years, and I'm a wide receiver and cornerback. Weston Chase, I've played for three years, I'm running back and uh, defensive back. Kevin Mora, played for four years, and I play offensive line and defensive line. Uh, Donald Loggins Joseph III, I've been playing for five years, and I'm a lineman on the defensive line. My name is Jake Barris. I've played for four years and I play left guard. Um, Braden Bassett, sophomore, junior, senior year, uh, left tackle. Tobias Lawrence, four years, wide receiver. Ethan Vieira, I play for Fairhaven High. I'm a wide out and cornerback. What was your favorite memory with the team? Playing moon dogs, on the rain, the mud, tackling. All fun. The last week of practice in the season because it's the most enjoyable. Uh, we were practicing in the rain one day. Linemen started throwing each other in the mud. We were all having a good time. My favorite memory with the team would have to be playing dodgeball during the preseason because it was a big surprise and Coach Almeida has never done anything like that. The spags, you know, a lot of funny moments happen at those and lots of brotherhood. And a lot of good food I've eaten in the past uh, couple years at other people's houses. There's a lot. Beating OR last year was a good one. Probably beating OR junior year. It was, it was a fun game. Beating Dartmouth at OR last year, two, like, a couple weeks in a row. But beating Dartmouth is always the best feeling, so that was pretty nice on Thanksgiving. That past Thanksgiving game, you know, we were, we had a stretch of uh, losing games, so it was good to finally, you know, get one, the most important one of the year. I'm going to say beating Dartmouth two years in a row. The energy we had and how hard we played against them and just, we just played Really good football that day. Beating Dartmouth, that was great. Beating Dartmouth back to back. Beating Dartmouth this Thanksgiving. Beating Dartmouth two years in a row on Thanksgiving, that was pretty fun. Beating Dartmouth back to back, and I wasn't able to play both years, but just seeing my friends go out there and do it, maybe that day.
Ryan, and what was your favorite football moment on field? My favorite memory in the t with the team is Colin Pacheco touchdown. Scoring felt really nice, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that was pretty nice, because that never happens for someone at my position. So for that to happen and the whole team being happy for me, that was really nice. Probably when we played Seekonk and we got a huge uh, stop on fourth down at the goal line. Really switched momentum, you know, got us ready and offense able to, you know, produce. My interception against Sandwich. Getting that interception against Seekonk in the championship. I wasn't in the play, but probably seeing Kobe pick Dartmouth off two times. That was pretty. Probably when I ran off sides. Sophomore year, first time we on the ball, a punt return against Bourne. Broke right and hurt a little kid. It was supposed to be a flag, but I didn't know that. But it was pretty cool. What do you enjoy most about playing football? All the people I've met, all the coaches and all that, you know. I got a lot of memories now, friendships, that, you know. It was just always a space, like, with the people and the sport, obviously, itself. You could just be who you wanted to be. It was completely different from, like, the rest of everything else. You could just do whatever you wanted. You could feel good. Like, you can feel confident even if you're not off the field. And it was really just a space to kind of vent through everything, regardless of what was going on. So it was just really nice and always helped with a lot. I enjoyed being able to spend time with my teammates and creating those bonds over the past four years because I never would have guessed, but... Every single person on my freshman team is now one of my closest friends. Just being out there with the guys, it's really fun. Football is just different from any other sport. It's part of the practice, because like, just go in there every day. The kids that I play with. The energy it gives you. I enjoy being able to hit people and not get in trouble. Probably hitting people, uh, because it's a great way to take my anger out. And uh, Yeah, just, I love hitting people. <laughs> makes you fired up, makes you love the game. Ah, uh, just the... Uh, the thrill, the fans getting loud on Friday night game at home, just not even feeling anything, just going out there and playing the game well. Playing with the boys, it's just like a family. We all come together. Everybody here, practices, the coaches. Mm, just clears my mind, I guess. Who's someone on the team who makes you better? Colin Bachico or Kevin Mora, both very, uh, very good guys, very helpful, very impactful for the team, and they don't get as much credit as they deserve. Definitely my lineman buddy, you know, Colin, Jaquie, uh, James Westgate, you know, it's like they strive to be better, which makes me want to be better because, you know, I can't be the worst lineman, right? Uh, also, uh, you know, our quarterback, Jay Stewart, you know, it's like uh, he has to, he's running the show and uh, he has to take on a big role, and for that, it's, a, it's just. Uh, they, they all just drive me to be a better football player and be the best me I can. My dad, obviously, and my friend Kevin Moore. Kevin Moore, because he was a hog. He was a real hog in cheeks. Someone on the team that makes me better would have to be my good friend Jaquie because he always yells at me during practice and just pushes me to be the best person I can be. The rest of the line, we all push each other. Probably Jace. He's always telling me to, you know, do my job. Kevin Moore. Well, he's right there on the line with me. He, we go through practices together. Great person. Toby Lawrence in practice. Nate Hutch. He's a great leader for skill positions. Probably Zach Mora. Uh, he's just a top tier kind of guy. He's, he's a real, uh, real good athlete too. I'm saying Nate Carroll. He pushed every practice, no matter what we were doing. He went full bore and it made me go full bore and made me better to when I got back on that field. Makes me better, Connor Sorrell. I do drills with him all the time work on my form, everything. The whole team really brings each other up a lot. Specific people like Jace really always keeps everyone going. He's a good leader. Kevin too, obviously. All the boys really, they contribute to each other. They all bring each other up when we need to. We have, we have a really solid group all around. We all help each other. All right, and then what will you miss most about this team? Uh, I'm gonna miss playing with all the boys that I did. And Pop Warner, like Nate, Weston, Hutch, Connor. All these kids that I grew up playing football with and getting to play my high school career with, I'm just going to miss that. I'm going to miss practicing with everyone. Even though they're long and tough, I'm just going to miss being out there with everyone, something you'll never be able to do again. I want to say how close we all are, but we're still just going to stay as close, so I'm not even worried about that. I'm going to miss more the feeling of like how we were on the field together. Because like we'll still all be close off the field, we'll still all see each other, but on the field it's just different. Like you have each other's back in a way that you can't replicate off the field. Uh, just going out there and having fun with my friends, hitting people, 
can never do that really in anything else. The seniors that I played with. Probably hog dinners and practices. Playing with the boys. Just being with everyone at practice, it's great. The schedule, like the practice every day. Being able to, I don't know, meet up with the boys and just everyone's doing their job, having fun. Not being able to play, hear them call me Peanut anymore. Those were all fun memories. The majority of my friends, because uh, I won't see them a lot anymore. I'll miss how easy it was to hang out with my teammates right after practice and after games, because once the season ends, you don't see them quite as much. Probably going to miss the, my teammates, you know. It's like we built so, so many close bonds with each other, especially uh, the linemen, you know. We're all best friends, and it's a, it's a bond you can't get in any other sport. Friendships I've made along the way with all the boys. Love you guys. Hope you stay in contact with you. Uh, I'm Jace Stewart. For the seniors, it's just they're all like my older brothers. I mean, I've been playing with them for so long. It's kind of sucks that I don't I don't really know high school football without them. Sam Hubert, Jack Cunha, Kaden Tender. What was the best moment to watch in the football game? Probably just beating everybody. And you know, me and Sam, we had our halftime right. interviews. What a game this has been. Forty-two to zero. That's probably our favorite. Yeah, one of the best moments for me was making that halftime interview with Jack. The football team ran back out. Another really good moment was when we stopped to Dartmouth at the uh, five-yard line on fourth down. It was fourth and one. And the, uh, the whole parent section was electric. The whole student section was electric. It was really good. Best moment was just night in, night out. The dogs going in, eating, getting, getting the win for the boys, bringing it home. Who are some players that you love to watch? Probably Weston Chase, you know, very electric player. You know, he's a, more of a finesse player rather than Justin, who just looks to run you over. And he's in for the touchdown, Justin Me but, uh, personally, Weston Chase, great player, great skill player. Uh, you had Connor. But then I look into the Hogs. You got Quee down there. I'm you got Colin Kev. Pacheco. Kev Dog. You got Kevin. Kev Dog's an absolute animal. Those do the dirty work that he don't throws really up. get recognized as much. He's, he's throwing up That's out. On, you know, he throws up on the field and he's still there to play. So. What will you miss most about watching the football games? Just the student section. Just like overall vibe of the student section. You know, it's. I'm gonna it's miss amazing. watching my boys, my friends on the field. Uh, but you know, being with all the students in the uh, in the stands, we're all you know spirited with the, the themes for the games. It's always a great time showing up with all the you know seeing all the fans be there. I agree. You could state your name, your and your position with the team. Donnie Joseph, and I am an assistant coach with the uh, varsity and the JV, and I coach with the uh, B backs and the defensive linemen. Uh, Mr. Scott Francis, Coach Francis. I'm an assistant coach on the team. I coach the secondary on defense and the offensive line on offense. Coach Almeida, the head coach of uh, head football coach of Fairhaven High School. What aspect of football makes you love coaching? I think um, you know I I'm a sports lover. You know I grew up playing a lot of sports as a kid, um, and I really like the the competitive nature of all sports. But I think football kind of brings out a another level of competition in in kids and in coaches. Just the the physicality of it and the the mind game of it and you know, all the little different pieces that go into being a good football team. So just I, I think the competitive nature and the physicality of it. All of it, really. But um, probably the strategy of trying to figure out the other team. They're learning from the past. This is the third year now we've been together. They're learning what it takes to succeed, you know, all the hard work that goes into it. There's not, a, there's not many lazy kids on the team. You know, they are hard workers. So they do, they're starting to realize that the hard work does pay off. We've had three good seasons in a row. The record says itself, but that kind of keeps them self-motivated at practice too. So. It, 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 it's just such a great sport that gives kids and people an opportunity to get knocked down, get back up, and just have a feeling of, of confidence in yourself after you realize that you can get back up from some of these battles that you've lost, and you can get back up and, and you can go win win the next one. And I, I think football gives you all these challenges that not other sports do. And so it's just awesome when, when you see that and you watch con kids come out of games and, and practices with the confidence they start building from that. It's, it's, it's really special. How do you keep the team motivated throughout the year? The motivation for the kids is difficult because there's 
so much so many practices for one game and to keep that going the kids start with the commitment in the off season because they know how important it is to be a little bit stronger and a little bit more conditioned so when they start investing all that time realizing it's for one game i think that helps them motivate themselves so it's the constant reminder of what they're what they're looking for, what they're trying to get out of a game, what they're trying to get out of playing football and just winning games and, and, and going to, to be able to compete on Friday nights every week. That builds on itself and allows them to to want to keep working. So that's where the motivation comes from. A lot of it's self-motivation from the time they put it in the off season. I think it comes down to repetition. Um, I think, you know, if you're going to be good on something um, on Friday night or on Thanksgiving morning, um, you've got to do it. 10, 20, 100, 1,000 times in practice um, so that it becomes muscle memory. You know, you're able to perform that technique or that skill at a high level um, at any given moment. The repetition that you get in practice, um, the amount of times we do things over and over, I think really gives our kids a chance to excel in the field. It's easy when things are going well. You know, I think that sports are kind of set up that way where when you're having success, um, you can kind of just use ex- examples of the success that you're having, and that usually provides kind of enough motivation, you know, to get the most out of kids. But the struggle becomes when you don't perform well, you know, and you got to find little areas where you can improve. You got to find little areas where maybe you did something really well. You know, you can't be completely negative all the time, you know, even when things aren't going well. I think the bottom line is if you you have a group of kids and a group of coaches and a program that sticks together and um, has a common goal. You know, the best motivation is just um, trying to go out and doing something together as a team. Is there a specific memory or game that will stick with you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Thanksgiving. We, uh, we, we talk with the, the whole team, but ultimately the seniors, because it is, for the most part, unless they're playing college football, which is not many, uh, it's their last high school football game of their career life to go out on an, on a high note against a bigger school usually better team you know um rivalry of dartmouth is always a huge huge win so that one is going to stick i've already watched the film a couple times our kids played their absolute hearts out so that's why i think that that one will stick out more well it's always going to be thanksgiving when I first took over this job a few years ago you know that's those are the games that i circle on the calendar you know i have a a fond memory growing up, being at those games as a kid, playing in those games as a player, and now having the opportunity to coach in them. Um, so, you know, there's, I think there's no better memory than, you know, winning at home on Thanksgiving. So that's really the one that's going to stick out in my mind. I have a few from this year. I, I look at, for me, the Seekonk game uh, when we won the uh, SEC gold and came down to a fourth down play against them on the goal line. We stopped them on the goal line and then went down to score. But, you know, there's plays like that throughout. But, again, being able to play and coach coach with my son, both my sons on the field this year. I think that's the special memory for me. So all, the, all the games are great too, but I get to do it with my kids and I, I don't think, I think that's what I take away from it all every time. What will you miss most about this senior class? There were a lot of them. Usually we don't have big senior classes, you know, in football. Usually they like, they wean out through the years. You get, you get a bunch of them as freshmen. Not everybody comes back sophomore year. And this, this was the first time we actually had like five new seniors come out for the year. All good kids. They're, they're different. They're one big, happy group. And, you know, they never really fought with each other or argued or things like that. Just, they're just one big, happy group led by the biggest galoot, Kevin Mora. Them as a group, I, I remember them as freshmen. That, this was a, a group that I came in. I always thought they were going to be pretty good when they were together. And I think they proved that they were. And they, they were a pretty close-knit group. Doesn't mean they were all best of friends off the field, but when I watched them on the field, they were always pretty tight. They, they always had each other's back. They always pretty good in supporting each other. And I think that's what I'll miss, how close they were or seemed to be on the field, how they, how they played together, which I enjoyed watching. Well... You know, when you work with a, a group of kids um, and you start to think about the amount of time and effort and hours that you've, you've put in together, you know, you do develop a special bond. It's, it's really hard to, to see the seniors go, you know, because of all the time and um, all the good memories and, and tough memories that you have. I think the, the amount of time that we spend together and the way we work together really creates a special situation for us. I'm going to miss this group of seniors. Uh, I think they've worked really hard in this program. Um, And I'm really proud of, of what they've accomplished as a group.